Okay. Mwah. That's for Remy. Mwah. That's for Ahuba. Mwah. That's for Fagi. Mwah. That's for Rocky. Mwah. That's for Perla. And Mwah. That's for Atara. Guys, it's almost Shabbos here, and I'm going to give you a message. My message is that every one of my students is going to go on fire this year. something you can do you control of it you can do something about it so it bothers you but if you have nothing to do about it you can't do anything about it then you, you can't do anything about it. just like the rain it rained yet you can't he has no control of the rain but he has control of the pipe you have control of your life you have every day you can pick chayim or mothers it's up to you choose chayim and we have faith in you again the name that we picked you that you girls are here in this school you're, you're fit for this or you stroll. We have faith in you, sir. Or you stroll, I'm on my way. Okay, so I'm here today to tell you girls that each one of you are great. Each one of you have potential beyond your imagination. Each one of you could do anything you want. If men if people put somebody on the moon, what do you think we could do? That's something impossible. Mamish impossible. But they did it. So somebody wants to reach their goal in life. Somebody wants to overcome things in life. They want to become something, do something. It's possible. Each one of you have that strength that power. I'm here today and for the rest of the year to be with you girls, to take each one of you to reach your goal, your power, to push you to the end of your limits. You might close your minds off to the limits that you could do. It's a thing in life that people put themselves on autopilot. It's like they're driving a car automatic. And they're just driving through life and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not using their imaginations, their dreams, their goals. I'm here to tell you that you could do it. You have the power to do it. And each one of you are great. And I'm sure each one of you will take the right path and make the best out of you that you could become. So I'm going to work with you this year because I love you girls and I want you to reach that goal. I really do. I love every single person in this world and each one of you are special. And you have to know that you're special and you know they're capable. There are a bunch of people in our lives that tell us you can't 
You won't and you're nothing. I'm here to tell you that is a lie. And whoever says that is a nothing. So we're gonna one. We're gonna go crazy over life and we're gonna love life. Gun for everybody. We're gonna learn how to shoot guns. And I'm gonna teach you what a gun means. Which I'm gonna ask you girls a question. If I now wanna shoot a target, and I'm looking at the target, and I wanna shoot it. But if I was blinded, I couldn't see, and I wanted to shoot, I wouldn't know where to shoot at. I have no target to shoot at, because I can't see the target. So if I was blinded and I wanted to shoot, I wouldn't be able to shoot anything. Right? A person, a man, a woman, if they don't have a target in life, if they don't see their target, the goal, the direction they want to go, they won't be able to get there. They won't be able to shoot that target. To have a target, to get somewhere, to shoot something, you have to have a target. So that's our first lesson for today. I'm going to put targets and we're going to have to shoot it. And then next session, we're going to make targets for ourselves and we're going to learn how to shoot it over the year. How to get there. How to get to that goal. So there's only one question. Who's in or out? Just till the end. We really can do this. I'm going to push you. I'm going to break you. And I'm going to bring you back up. And I'm going to make you girls the greatest video of 2017. I want to tell you guys how proud I am of you. I'm going to say it again. I am so proud of you guys. You made this fight year so incredible and so powerful. I want you to remember three words. It's worth it. It's worth it. And I want to tell you, it's weak and it's not okay. And with that, I want to say to Faye, Mimi, Atara, Perla, Rocky, Rivi, Nechama, and Sira, that I love you so much. Every single one of your teachers love you so much. And we will always be there for you. Anytime. Rabota Varama Zebader. Ba'ani holech. Im rosh lemala. Kol echad uveno batil melech. ככה היה, וככה זה גם עלה, יהודים נשמה בוערת. בכל מקום ובכל ארץ, לא רוצה שיהיה אחרת. יהודי עני, זה משהו נצחי.
Now, my life oh, goals are um, to one shut day. up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Own a hair salon, but if that doesn't happen, <laughs> then I'm gonna work with my family. They opened up a hair salon, so I'm gonna work there. And um, what's called then? And my life goal is to come back somewhere. The most amazing husband out ben there. Tora. An amazing guy. Someone who understands me. Someone, I'm not saying I could get like the best, the best guy because of what I've done. But I want to marry in a really, really, really good guy. And what else? Someone who respects, you. Someone who respects me. Someone who loves me. Someone who I trust. Someone. Someone that I love and someone that I know I could look up to. Um, and I want to have a healthy family. And okay. I want my past to fly away <laughs> and not be here anymore, if only. And that's really it. <laughs> that's it. Um, my goals are to get married to a perfect husband. Have a horse. I'll see. Um, to have my my own horse ranch with a lot of horses and to help people that have hard time and that I can help them with the horses to have a lot of dogs in my house and my husband should love animals he should be an animal lover he should love God I'm not there yet he should be a nice Jewish person to grow that would love me and respect me and help me when I need him to. Well, that should grow with him. And to oh, grow yeah. with him <laughs> and well, to have a happy family. Okay, and my, what I think my future looks like? My future is gonna look like I'll have a really pretty house <laughs> with a huge ranch in it and a lot of horses, Parisian horses. It's spiritual. Wait, I'm not up there yet. Second. Tons of dogs, I guess. And hopefully, I get much better, find myself, find what I want to do in my life. And erase my past, basically. Get on with my life. Be happy. Guys, too bad we can't take our phones and post on Santa anymore. Oh, that's so fun. Just have like, a good life. Amen. Amen. Help people. Hey, Shmay, Robbie. Amen. Love people. Just Amen. Love myself. Amen. Respect everybody. Amen. Everybody should respect me. Amen. Okay, that's it. That's it. Amen. Cut. <laughs> okay. My name's Atara. Woo! And Rolla Wayne Hi! Anyways, um, my goals in life is an interesting question. I have a lot of them. Um, I think to be a happier person, just to look at everything in a brighter light. Oh, you learned You just say what um, Just, you know, I want to have one day my own farm, my own horses, help people, and just be a better person. And, and my future life, um, just like I said, I want to have my own farm, I want to help people, I want to marry the perfect guy for me, um, I want to end this year in the best way possible, and enjoy, and learn about life, and grow, and be a better person. Bye! So basically, my name is Ruby Abram. And my goal is, and I want to have, like I always dream of a, first of all I want to be a makeup artist because I learned how to do that. Second of all, I always dreamed of having like a house, like full of horses and everything and everyone would just come into and feel at home. And I want to go visit children in the hospital and I want, I like that kind of life, like I like that kind of lifestyle. And um, I want to marry a husband that loves Hashem. And yeah. Cares about oh, yeah, what yeah, Hashem wants, and I want to go to have healthy children, have children I want to have. We have so I don't want to have tents and always problems and everything like that. I just want a very calm, happy house where everybody's going to come to. All my kids' friends are going to feel safe and happy there. And yeah, <laughs> yay! Thank you. Okay. <laughs>
I'm not saying that I fucked one time. I wanna. What? I wanna. Don't close up sentence my face. I wanna um, finish this year nicely and really know what I want for myself. I wanna grow. I wanna get married soon and marry a really uh, good guy who respects me and I really want to live like um, I really want to grow and yeah and everything and I want to live in Israel and I don't know what I want to work as yet but I want to have a nice happy and healthy life nothing to say I love our school because everybody's like sisters, we're like a huge family. You stole my That's my thing! Yeah. So, my thing is, we're mean. not friends, we're sisters. So, we are allowed to fight because we're sisters and that's what and sisters we do. <laughs> and we're all but there we, for each we other. we still love each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We love each other more and more. Yep. Oh, I got another thing. Can I say something else? I'll say something. Um, the teachers here really care about the students. I was just like, gonna say that. As things. if they're our parents. Yeah. Not as if they are. Really. Well, they are our second parents. They are first parents. So different from each other. Yeah. But we all love each other a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We Anything grow else? Together. Yeah, we all went through stuff, and we're going through stuff. And we're all like, we all <laughs> want to grow and be Strong big, and like we're all. That's what makes us all the same. Cause we all want to be. We don't want to stay. We know we don't want to stay in the same spot. We want to grow and be like. And the love that the school gives us. Yeah. Basically, yeah. I love you guys very much, and I think you know that by now. Um... <laughs> Who's you guys? I don't know. <laughs> My mother and father, Ima and Av, for being such a hard child. <laughs> and I really appreciate everything you do. Um, I really love you. And I really hope you know that. And thank you for everything you do for me all the time. And that's it. Yeah, I respect them a lot. I mean, sometimes I didn't, but now I do. I learned to like appreciate them and I saw how other people's parents are and then I really appreciated my own parents because I never had such issues with them and yeah I have like a very big heart like even though I'm exactly like him like we look tough on the outside but inside we're really not like that like I'm very soft and I really care about people and like my father always like he always had a heart for people like he once took this like disgusting person off the street into our house because he felt so bad and like I have so much stories like my parents they took care of two people and they got them married that weren't my siblings and I really learned from them how to be like um a giving they're very giving they're so selfless they don't think about themselves they only think about other people so I learned a lot like from them about that hey, hi my Nava um I have to Thank you for a lot of things that you've done for me in my life. Um, I know sometimes you went through hard times, and I did. And I know you were always there for me. Doesn't matter like if you were going, if you guys were going through bad times or something. Like you guys were always there for me. And how I see that you give like every child like what they need. And where I am now and where I'm growing is only because of you and I have a lot to appreciate and I love you guys that's it I love you guys and I know we, all of us have been through a lot for the past few years and 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 you guys helped me a lot with my life. You gave me tons of tools to live. And everything I went through, I only got out of it because of you guys. You helped me. And even though it wasn't easy, it was really, really hard. Also for me and also for you. With everything. And from going from one place to another, trying to figure out what to do and how. You were always there for me, even though if you didn't like what I was doing, I wasn't 
really talking to you guys. I was disconnected from the family, and you were always there for me. And you never gave up on me, even though you should have, because it looked like it was impossible to go back to what it was like. And and I learned a lot from you how to be patient, how to give everything you have. Even though you don't want to sometimes, you do it anyways because it's right. And the only reason I'm here today and I'm becoming who I'm supposed to be is because of you. I couldn't have done it alone. And I really appreciate everything you did for me. Most amazing year of my life. So many different perspectives and Mrs. Aika is a big part of it. She, I mean, she is what made it so amazing. And she works so hard for us, and I see it, especially when I, I kind of live by her, um, sleep by her, and she's so nice even when she has her kids around, and I try helping, but she just does so much for her kids and for us, and just, she's like a role model for anyone who sees her. If this school opens again, it will open again, so whoever goes to this school is just so blessed. So this year I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. It changed my whole, it basically changed my whole life. It made me realize what, could, what, a, like, what I can achieve in life. And this is my I owe this is my everything. Everything I gained this year was because of Mrs. Mike. I'm going to remember this year for the rest of my life. Hey, Mrs. Mike. Every little detail is so dumb. You think every little thing. 
amazing and just it's amazing. Thank you so much. Ich 